assignment, a random assignment between the two. So Allie, how are you going to do deal with the fact that there's 29? It said you put 15 in the ones that you're putting at the group and 14 alone. Right. It's okay that they don't have exactly the, the same amount. You want to, the better, the closer you can be. So you want to call that a first group. Group two. All right. So then, Allie, what'd you do with the first group? Um, you have them with a small discussion group and video. Okay. So we call that treatment one. Yeah. So discussion group. Treatment number one. Discussion group. I'll just call it discussion group. Because the other one watched the video too. Treatment number two, then what would I say? Just video. Down. Just video. Right. Just video. No discussion group. So, and when we come together at the end, what will we look for, Allie? Um, you would compare the evaluation of final performance. Right. Somebody's got to make a determination at the end. We're going to have to compare the evaluations. All right, that's a map of an experiment. Those are the parts you need in each one. All right. Let's look at our assignment for this. Um, they're, they're listed for you on the handout. You want to work together or you want to work silently? On, on day five, number 57. Together. Together? Okay. <laughs> Alright, over to Julia. Right, you get to uh, where section 4.2. Would you read the problem number 57 for us? Cocoa and blood flow. <laughs> Wonderful. They think of so many things to do a study on. It's amazing. Alright, go ahead. A study conducted by Norman Hollenberg, professor of medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School involved 27 healthy people aged 18 to 72. Each subject, subject consumed a cocoa beverage containing 900 milligrams of flavonoids. Yeah. A class of flavonoids. Okay, that's clear. That's cleared up a lot. Go on. <laughs> Daily for five days. Using a finger cup, Blood flow was measured on the first and fifth days of the study. After five days, researchers measured what they called significant improvement in blood flow and the function of the cells that lined the blood vessels. What flaw in the design of this experiment makes it impossible to say whether the cocoa really caused the improved blood flow? All right, get your paper ready if you haven't already. This is your homework assignment, so it's... Just this number? No, <laughs> the whole one's on day five. What's there, four? four of them? One, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. So, read that again to yourself if you need to, and try to figure out what is wrong with the experiment. The three big things that we're looking for are up here. What would you say needs to be improved on? <coughs> In a way, in a way, as long as you pick randomly from the genders and randomly from the age groups, we can allow that. They okay. didn't say they picked it randomly though. They just said yeah. they involved. All right, so let's just, uh, yeah, I. And I, it was only five days. Right, so it wasn't very long. Uh, and but you haven't hit on the the major problem yet. Now, all of these the certainly can be improved. Variables? What? Other variables? Other variables. 
definitely other variables in this one, I would say, but even more so, yes. <coughs> I was just going to say the fact that they only they only measured it on the first and fifth day, so like they didn't have any control or, or paying attention to anything that happened in between that. So. Right, if definitely the word control comes to mind. They've got, they should have a group that is taking like the placebo yeah. because just be, some people, just because you give them a pill or whatever this flavanol looks like, they are going to perceive a change in themselves whether it's there or not. So you gotta, uh, you gotta account for that. So you should have a group that's taking an, a pill that is not a flavanol, but it, they think it is, or it could be. They don't know whether it is or not. So there's no control group. We want cocoa. No control cocoa. <laughs> I guess you could have, a, yeah, I don't know how you could have could, a could chocolate you bring cocoa be beverage without cocoa in it. Could you bring cocoa? I us? guess, that's a, is there a fake cocoa out there? Probably. But, Real cocoa will be do just fine. Yes, you could just give them a drink that's not cocoa. There must be a control group with no cocoa. So we have something, remember at the end, we have to compare. So that's where they're going to really uh, meet problems with this study. And the things you mentioned also weigh in as well. All right, because so all they said, oh, everybody's improved. You know, that's all they said, but that isn't good enough. That is the five minutes. Okay. <laughs> all right, are we still taping this? Yes. We can stop. Okay. All right, we're just going to finish in the next five minutes by working along in the homework, which is on, you show them a page, right? Yes. But you've seen the page which has the problems listed. There's four, and we just finished number, the first one. So, we are going to shut this video down and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.